Hey guys, hope you're well. This lesson's gonna be amazing. We're gonna be looking at some super important stuff. For example, if I give you something like um, H2SO4, we're gonna learn how to calculate the mass on the periodic table. We're also gonna learn how to work with things that are a little bit more weird, like what does that two do? Or what if we have a three in the front of something like that? What does the three do? Or what if we have something like this, where there's a two on the outside, how do you calculate the mass of that? That's the type of things we're gonna be looking at in this lesson. We're gonna start with H2O. What this means, guys, is that we have two hydrogens plus one oxygen, okay? So this little two here is for this hydrogen. So we have two hydrogens, and one oxygen, okay? So that means we have how many atoms? That's three atoms in total, because we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. If I had to draw it out for you like this, that's what it looks like. Now to calculate the mass on the periodic table, what you would do is the following. You would go find hydrogen, which is over here, and then you would find oxygen, which is over here, and you would look at the mass number. Remember the mass number is the bottom number on the periodic table. So that means we are gonna have two hydrogens. So that's gonna be two multiplied by one because you could even say one plus one if you wanted to. Then you're gonna say plus one oxygen, which is 16. And if you had to calculate that, you're gonna get 18. Okay, and I'm not gonna mention any units right now. We'll get to that in later lessons where we start looking at more like interesting types of things. But for now, just know that that is 18. Okay, let's do another example. Our next example is gonna be H2SO4. So what this means is we have two hydrogens plus one sulfur plus four oxygens, okay? So if you had to go work out how many atoms that would be, well, that would be two atoms plus one sulfur, so that's three, plus four is seven atoms. If you had to work out the mass, well, then you would say that they have, they are two hydrogens, so you could say one plus one, or you could say two times one, I think that's a little bit easier, plus one sulfur, which is 32, plus four oxygens. Now, each oxygen is 16. So if you had to go calculate that, you end up with 98. Now we're going to look at something like three N-A-O-H. So that three, now this is important, that three is not for the N-A only. That three is in front of all of them. So it's for all of them, okay? So if you wanted to go and work out how many atoms you have, well, we have one N-A over there. So we have one N-A. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what to do with the three now. We have one oxygen and then we have one hydrogen. But then you are gonna multiply all of that by three. So we actually have three NAs plus three oxygens plus three hydrogens. So we have a total of nine atoms because three plus three plus three is nine. Now if you wanted to get the mass, well then you have three NAs, now Na is over here. You have three oxygens, each oxygen is 16. And then you have three hydrogens, where each hydrogen is a one. And if you had to work out the mass, you get 120. So let's practice a few more, and then I'm gonna add, and then I'm gonna show you a few other types, okay? But let's just practice what we've learned so far. So I want you to go and work out the mass of, or let's go work out how many atoms and also what is the final mass. So I want you to find the number of atoms and I want you to find the mass. Okay, so that two in the front is for everything, okay? So it's for all of them. So what we then have is we have one nitrogen. You see inside there we have one nitrogen. Don't worry, I will use this soon. And then we have three hydrogens. Can you see it? We have three hydrogens over there. But then we're gonna multiply all of that by two, and so we actually have two nitrogens plus 
six hydrogens. And so we have a total of eight atoms, okay? For the mass, we have two nitrogens, so two multiplied by 14, plus six multiplied by one, and that gives us 34. So the mass is 34. This next one's gonna be quite interesting. We're gonna look at three Na2SO4. So that three is in the front, so that three is for everything, okay? So inside the bracket, we have this two is for this Na. So we have two Na's, two Na, plus one sulfur, plus four oxygen, okay? But now that three in the front means that all of that is actually multiplied by three. So we actually have six Na's, three sulfurs, plus 12 oxygens. Okay, because three times two is six, three times one is three, and three times four is 12. And so that is a total of six plus three plus 12. Uh, that is 21 atoms, 21 atoms. Now to work out the mass, you're gonna say six times Na's mass, which is 23, plus three times sulfur's mass, which is 32, plus 12 times oxygen's mass, which is 16. And if you had to go calculate that, you end up with 426. Now I wanna show you one other type of example. So let's say we have Mg NO3 2. So that two is for all of that inside there, okay? Because it's in a bracket. So this two is for everything in the bracket. So if you look at how many atoms we have, we've got one magnesium, okay? And then we've, then we've got, now I'm gonna say this, and inside the bracket, we've got one nitrogen, one nitrogen, and we've got three oxygens, right? But then we're gonna multiply that by two because there is a two on the outside of that bracket, but the two is not for the Mg, okay? And then after this, I'm gonna show you how this one works, and then after this, I'm gonna give you an even more complex example, and then we will be done with this lesson. So we're gonna have one magnesium. Now, two times one is two, and two times three is six oxygens. And so if you look at how many atoms that is, that's one plus two, so that's three, and then three plus six is nine. So we have nine atoms. To work out the mass, you're gonna have one magnesium, so Mg is 24. Then we have two nitrogens. Now each nitrogen is 14. And then each oxygen is 16. If you had to calculate that, we get 148. Now I'm gonna show you one more challenging example, and then we're done. So in this example, we're gonna look at two and then, uh, oh, sorry, I don't know why I did that, but Al2SO4, where there's a three. So remember that this two in the front is for everything. It's for all of them, okay? So let's, let's go look at um, inside the big bracket. We've got two aluminiums, so we can say two aluminiums plus. Now, this three is for all of these. Um, and so you could say three multiplied by Inside this bracket, we've got one sulfur, so one sulfur, and four oxygens, so four oxygens, okay? And then all of this, all of this will then be multiplied by two because of that two over there. And so let's quickly just go work inside these brackets. So it's two aluminiums plus three sulfurs plus 12 oxygens. Okay, and then all of that is multiplied by two. So that's then gonna be four aluminiums plus six sulfurs plus 24 oxygens. And so if we had to go calculate how many atoms we have, well, that would be four plus six plus 24, which is gonna be 34 atoms. 
Now to calculate the mass, well, that's gonna be four aluminiums. So each aluminium is going to be 27 plus six sulfurs, so six times 32 plus 24 oxygens, so 24 uh, times 16. Wow, that's gonna be quite a heavy molecule. And so if we add that all up, that'll be 684.